Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at how to add or remove the maximum processor frequency option in your Windows power settings. It's disappeared lately, probably because a lot of the newer processors do this automatically. But a lot of people prefer to edit it, so I'm going to show you how to get it back. So it looks a little something like this. That's what you're looking at. And when we're done, you'll have access to the processor frequency. So press your Windows key plus S. Let's take a quick look at your power plan by typing in edit power plan. And change advanced power settings. And as you saw, processor power management, this is all you have. So let's close out of that. And let's turn it on with PowerShell, which is one of my favorite ways. Here is the add command. And just check the video description for this article so you can copy and paste that code. Press your Windows key plus X, do PowerShell. I always do admin. Go ahead and click yes. All you gotta do is control V to paste that line in and hit enter. Now let's take a look. Windows S, edit power plan. Change advanced power settings again. And there you can see the maximum processor frequency. I was goofing around ahead at 2500. Zero will be your default. And that allows it to run at full power. The next problem you're going to need to know is, of course, what kind of processor you have and what kind of max frequency. So I've already Googled my processor, and I can see that my maximum is 4700, allowing me to know what number to put in there. So there you go. Not really my wheelhouse, I'll be honest with you. I don't do too much with laptops, but that's the general vague way of doing it. But I'm assuming you're mostly here just to get it enabled if you know it to be looking for it. All right, other options we have here. You can open a registry editor and you just go to this key, double click it, and change the value data to one or two, or we made registry files for you. You can come in here, follow the link, click download now, And once you have the file, just extract them anywhere you like. And for example, remove, because we know we've already added it. And it's as simple as that. A couple of click, click, clicks. Let's take a look. Win S, edit, power. Change advanced. And you can see it's gone. So you can go to your control panel and do system info, Windows key plus S if you need to know your processor. And that'll allow you to find out, for example, here is my i7-9700. So that'll allow you to Google, as I did earlier, and find my processor and what the maximum speed is so that you can pick the right number. If you're going to play with it you don't know what you're doing, I recommend you go very, very slowly. So if you're a max 4700, you know, you might you might start low. 4,200, 4,000. And if anybody out there watching a video would like to add some further suggestions on how to do it, once again, it's not my wheelhouse. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about how you should dial down these settings if that's something you're looking to do for those who maybe, maybe want to learn something like me. There you go. So there is how to add or remove maximum processor frequency in Windows 10. I hadn't planned on doing much of a video with it, but it's been a very popular download and guide. So I figure people must be out there looking for this. So there you have it. Registry files, PowerShell in and out. Boom, boom. I like PowerShell a lot. You can't beat that. So, or edit the registry yourself, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.